hide and seek. Let's play hide and seek. 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 Let's play hide and seek. Let's play hide and seek. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Brother, <laughs> where's Mama? Bye. Where's baby brother? Peekaboo! Yeah. There he is. <laughs> where's baby brother? <gasps> <Peek -a -boo! laughs> where's baby brother? I'm trying to cut off the bottom half of Grayson because he, we are still working on potty training. Um, you might have seen a butt in there, but I think that's okay. But I'm trying to cover up because I put shirts on him now, but I do not put anything on underneath um, or below the shirt, I guess I should say. Potty training is still a work in progress. I mean, it is a lot of work and we're, I wanted to give up. I mean, every day I want to give up, but somehow I'm still going. So I think I'm just not putting so much pressure on myself. If it happens, it does. And if we want to go somewhere, I put him in a diaper. It's not that big of a deal. I feel like I only have like, I have less than two months left until this baby comes. And I want to be able to enjoy this last time with Grayson. I don't want to be cooped up in the house the whole time. So, if we want to go out and go to the park, we're going to go out and go to the park and put a diaper on. It's not that big of a deal. And that's where I am right now. I feel like I have so much to catch you guys up on. I have not filmed in so long. Um, we have been so, so busy here. We have huge news to tell you guys. We are absolutely crazy. Um, like I said, I am less than two months away from giving birth. It's almost end of July. So I'm almost a month away from giving birth, actually. And Anthony have, and I have made a big decision. Wow. Our big decision is we are selling our house and moving. Yeah. Yes, we are absolutely crazy. But hear me out. Because of coronavirus, ha the interest rate on home loans has gone historically low. It's never been this low in the history of home loans. Or maybe it has and it was like a million years ago. I don't even know. Anyway, it's the lowest it's been in our lifetime. Um, when Anthony and I bought this house, we got a, a home loan rate at like 4%. Right now, it's like below 2% right now. Or low twos. I mean, it is just bananas how low the interest rate is. So... Because of that, and we don't know how long that's going to last, we are taking advantage of it, pregnancy and all. So, um, we found a realtor. Um, I went on my mom's Facebook group, and a lot of people recommended this person. We reached out to her. She was very fast at getting back to us. We just met with her yesterday, kind of went over the plan of what we want to do. We have been staging our house and getting it ready to sell. Um, my sister came um, a couple days ago and she helped me box up a lot of stuff. We have gotten rid of a lot of stuff and just decluttered. I'll have to show you um, some of the rooms because the difference is crazy. We basically took down all family pictures of us, tried to make the house as neutral as possible, um, put away a lot of extra stuff just to make the rooms look less cluttered. And we had a stager come yesterday and she took pictures and she's gonna give us recommendations of what we could do to make the house even more sellable. We have some paint touch-ups we need to do, a lot of work on the basement because it's really creepy and scary down there. But yeah, we've made this huge decision that we are going to move. We've always had it in our minds that we wanted to move by the time Grayson turned five. He just turned two in April, he's almost two and a half now. 
Um, so this is just speeding up the process. Um, we've been in this house for a little over three years now. So it's not like a super long time, um, but it's not like we just moved here. And we're not moving far. We want to stay basically where we are. We just want to move a little further west, more towards Anthony's work. Just get a change of neighborhood. And um, I really just want a house with a laundry room. <laughs> Our laundry is in the basement and I'm just over it. And we're about to have two kids and that's going to be a lot of laundry. And I just want a laundry room. So we are starting up the search. Um, we just got added to like the search portal yesterday we're gonna start looking at homes um the housing market here in columbus i don't know how it is where you guys are but here in columbus it is absolutely crazy it's a seller's market right now um and that's how it was when we bought our house four years ago three years ago whatever basically house goes up for sale you have to go see that house that day and then that day you need to make a decision on whether you're going to put a bid on it or not because it will go like the next day. That's how crazy the houses are. Like everybody wants to buy houses right now because interest rates and because Columbus is just a really growing city and so everybody wants to live here. So um, it's a little crazy but we're used to it. That's how it was when we bought our house so we know what to expect. It's just real, a little stressful just because you don't win a lot of the bids because people overbid you and you just got to wait for the right house to come along. So we're starting this crazy process. I mean, we're already in the thick of it, honestly. We are waiting to hear back about things to do to the house. After we get that done, we are going to get pictures done of the house. And then basically what we're going to do is once we find a house and we win it, Within 24 hours, we're gonna put our house up for sale and hopefully the timelines match up to where we can sell our house and buy the new house basically like at the same time. Um, Cause obviously we don't have millions of dollars just hanging out so that we can just, you know, do that. And we don't wanna sell our house cause it's gonna sell in a day. And then we're gonna be on a time crunch to find a new house and that might take a little while. When Anthony and I first started looking for our first house, three years ago it took us about three months to find a house so I'm um, realistic to know that it might take a while which is totally fine we're in no rush I mean we have this house but we want to take advantage of the interest rate so that is what's going on it's just cr absolutely crazy here we've got all that going on I'm about to give birth I'm still trying to potty train Grayson um we're about to go on our baby moon with coronavirus is still here i mean we're about to celebrate four years of marriage in a couple days and if you would have told me that all this happened in four years i would have i would have not believed you but that is the craziness of our life i'm so sorry i have not been updating you more about it but hopefully i can keep you guys updated on the process of how everything's going I will show you some of the rooms that we've done so you can see the differences. Mostly it's just we've packed a lot of boxes and just stored them. We have a crawl space in our basement, so that's been really nice to store all the boxes. Yeah, it's just been absolutely crazy here, but you know, we're young, um, we're motivated, you know, whether we have we find a house before the baby comes or after the baby comes. You know, it, it'll be crazy, but it'll be worth it because we'll be in, you know, a nicer house and it'll be worth it. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be worth it. Um, so, yeah, and I feel like now that this is our second time looking for a house, we have a better idea of things to look out for um, that we didn't necessarily know for this house, like the laundry room and how nice that would have been and you know, what the neighborhood is like, and um, the master bathroom. Our master bathroom is teeny tiny, and I want something bigger. Um, and the fact that everywhere you walk in our house, because of how old it is, it's so rickety, and you hear everything, the squeaky floorboards. Like, it's just things you don't think about when you first buy a house. Or the fact that on our second floor, we have no overhead lights. I will never again buy a house like that. That's just terrible. Because of that, we have to have, like, lamps in all of our rooms because we don't have any overhead lights. I hate that. 
we now know what to look for. We know the area we want to move to, which is basically right where we are. So at least when we move, it's not like we're moving long distance, but it's still going to be a lot to move everything. I mean, we've got some big furniture and we just have a lot of stuff. I mean, you just accumulate stuff when you get a house and when you have kids. So we're out here swinging in gray. Thinks he's so cool. He puts his hat on sideways. Are you so cool? Oh, now it's on backwards, huh? It's been so hot and sunny here with hardly any rain. There's just dead grass everywhere. Anytime we put any of Gray's toys out, dead. It's terrible. We need more rain. It's just been a hot, hot summer. What's that face for? You want to do sidewalk chalk? He's still obsessed with it. Yeah. I haven't let him do it the past couple days because I wanted the house to look nice for our realtor and the stager. And once we do pictures, we won't be able to do sidewalk chalk and definitely not for the showing. So, not too much more sidewalk chalk for a little bit. I love this book, and Gray loves it too. What would you like to wear today? So, this book, it's called Wonderful Words, and it just, every page is something different, so it's like describes all different kinds of clothes, so it's got a red shirt, yellow jacket, tracksuit, straw hat, Blue overalls, and then it goes and describes other things. What do you see? Oh, there's the mama. She's making bacon and hot cocoa. And there's the dad. Obviously, we read this a lot because he knows all the words to it. Also, we had to get out the Santa jammies because Gray needed to see Santa today. Yeah, what do you think it is? What do you see? The apron and the easel and the tools. They're building something. Yep, toothbrush, paintbrush. Turn the page. <laughs> yeah, Pop Pop is reading his newspaper in the backyard. Pop Pop. Pop Pop. Yeah, babies. Okay. Will you take us to the library, please? Ask Sam. I like your book. And then can we go to the park? Asks Maya. He doesn't even need to. He knows the whole book. Why is he? Why is he?